you can find the fantastic zoom options in the top navigation under view. Just click view and then select zoom in or out. You can also see your entire project in the timeline at once with zoom to fit. Guess what? I've got some awesome shortcut keys that'll make your editing life a breeze. Zooming in is super easy. Just use the shortcut Command Plus. Watch your timeline get up close and personal. But wait, there's more. If you need to zoom back out, it's Command Minus to the rescue. It's like magic, right? Now here's a nifty tip. The timeline zooms where your playhead is hanging out. So if you move the playhead to a different spot on the timeline, Zooming in will focus on that cool location instead. I have a zoom tool that'll make you feel like a pro. You can find it under the tool drop-down menu or just use the quick Z shortcut. Your cursor will turn into a magnifying glass with a plus sign. Click once and you're zoomed in. Just keep clicking multiple times and you'll get closer and closer to your masterpiece. You can click and drag to zoom into a specific area Final Cut Pro will work its magic and fill the timeline with the area you selected. Feeling fancy? Switch to the Zoom tool temporarily by holding down the Z key. Click to zoom and when you're done, release the Z key and it's back to the previously active tool. Easy peasy. If you want to zoom out, just hold the Option key with the Zoom tool selected. Your cursor will turn into a minus sign. While holding Option, click to zoom out and see the bigger picture. You can use the zoom slider under Clip Appearance Settings to get your zoom on. Click that Clip Appearance icon and there it is. Drag the slider left to zoom out and right to zoom in like a pro. Now let's play with those awesome clip display buttons. Click them to change how you see your clips. You can show just the audio, a little video with audio, more video and less audio, only video or no video or audio. Use this nifty slider to make your clips taller or shorter. You can show and hide these clip details in the timeline by checking and unchecking these boxes. Oh, and in case you ever feel like you've gone a bit too far down the zoom rabbit hole, no worries. Just hit Shift Z and everything will reset to fit your timeline perfectly. Voila, your project's back to its comfy timeline home. Am I doing a good job? If so, hit that like button. Ready to scroll through your creative masterpiece? Grab that scroll bar at the bottom of the timeline and slide left or right. Click the tools pop-up menu and select the hand tool or press H. Your cursor turns into a hand. Next drag left or right in the timeline. To switch to the hand tool temporarily, hold down the H key. Scroll in the timeline and when you're done, let go. And it's back to your previously active tool. So, go ahead and zoom and scroll like a champ in Final Cut Pro. Next up, check out these five tips for speeding up your video in Final Cut Pro. Click here to watch and happy editing.